Hello. So today was Sunday. It's currently 9.28 p.m. And I'm super full right now. I don't know why I ate so much again. Some days, my appetite is not that strong. And I just eat whatever. Especially at the night time. When I'm tired, and I'm so tired, I don't even want to eat, I just want to sleep. That kind of days, I don't have a strong appetite. But some days, like today, or I don't remember, like a couple of days ago, it happens frequently. Like the days I have the urge to eat so much food, it's hard to handle because I really eat so much and basically it's all super super sweet food cake, bread, ice cream, cereal, crackers, chocolate and after eating all of that I feel like shit <laughs> I don't feel well the feeling that I hate myself, like I'm so dumb, stupid, why am I like this kind of feeling comes very strong on the days that I eat a lot. I really, really want to have a fit body, you know, but I realized um, in order to get more healthier eating habits to get healthy mentally or physically self-hate is not the answer for sure i've experienced that a lot and figured it out that self-hate isn't gonna figure out any problem for me nowadays i try to not give a lot of energy to the thoughts that are based with self-hate i just try to love myself more even in the situations that i did something wrong or i want to get better at certain things i want to love myself and tell myself it's okay you'll get better and better but it's hard to do that i just want to say bad things to myself why are you like this this is wrong you need to get better i hate you something like that it's so hard to explain it in english yeah but i figured out i just want to focus on the things that i'm improving and the things that I'm doing good it's all about perspective I think how you look at it there is some good news uh, I got hired so I found a job in Germany which is it feels like a miracle to me because I wasn't like on 100% certain that I would be able to find a job in Germany so I was like mentally prepared to do anything <laughs> I was thinking about like doing the dishes at a restaurant because I thought I couldn't work as a server because I can't speak German yet that fluently yeah so that was something that was pressuring me a lot these days today's my 16th day 
Yeah, it's over two weeks now since I first arrived here and my main concern these days was how am I gonna pay my rent, pay for my food, etc. everything. I, right now, I really need to earn one month and spend one month. I don't have enough money in my bank account. So that was my main concern, like I want to have a job and I was gonna apply to a lot of Korean restaurants here in Berlin and there was a couple of places that I got hired actually for Korean restaurants like food, cooking assistants, dishwashing kind of stuff and because uh, the owners were Korean, it wasn't hard for me to communicate with them. So, yeah, I was gonna work at Korean restaurants. But three days ago, uh, my housemate, she bought some groceries and then I saw it was like Korean products, like Korean ramen, Korean grocery food. And I asked her, um, is there a Asian grocery store nearby? Because I was craving Korean food as well. And she told me it was just across the street. So it's like a three to five minute walk from my house. So I'm like, yeah, great. Thank you for letting me know. And that dinner time, before dinner, cooking dinner, I went to buy some stuff, some veggies and uh, yeah, Korean products. And I went there and in the front door, there was a sign um, written in Korean saying that they're hiring at the moment. As soon as I saw that, I was like, oh my God, I want it. It's going to be so great if I get to work here because I have experience working at a mart and it was really fun actually and in australia for one year i worked at restaurants and cafes so it was really fun because i never got to work at those plate but places like that but after experiencing those kind of stuff for one year i was literally thinking before i came to germany oh it would be so nice to work at a mart in germany but um, my germany of course was the thing that was th making me think yeah i'm not ready yet so like when i s saw the sign um, I realized, oh, it's not just an Asian grocery store. Maybe the owners are Korean. And I um, got the stuff that I wanted to buy. And I went to the cashier. And I wasn't sure if she was the owner of the shop or even if she was Korean. So I awkwardly like said hi in Korean and she was korean and i don't know where the courage came it i didn't even think of anything as soon as she responded me in korean while i was doing the payment i just asked i saw that you're hiring right now and i really would like to work here but because of my german german is not fluent i'll understand if I need to improve my English to work here. I just told her that I really want to work here, but my German is not that great. 
and she was very kind and we talked she asked me a lot of questions like my visa where i live blah 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 and as a result she wanted me to work here the main thing was uh, at first she thought i was a student so she assumed i could not work many many hours and she was looking for a staff that could actually work every day and surprisingly that was what i was looking for as well because i need money right now and i live like five minutes away it was the perfect location and yeah perfect everything and after all i talked with her for like 20 minutes and she said okay let's work can you work from like tomorrow so i just got hired and i straight got working so it's been i worked friday and saturday and the shop closes every sunday so i'll be working monday to saturday six hours each so it's like perfect working six hours a day is definitely something I could do and honestly it's not that hard the work itself is not that hard um, since I've been studying like basic German I've always wanted to um, was thinking someday I would come to Germany so I always study German even it was like, it was like 10 minutes I would study and do you guys know the app Duolingo? <laughs> yeah, I did that app too. So I realized while I was working that my German is after all not that bad as I uh, I thought. So basically I know how to say all the numbers which is almost the most important thing working at a mart so i know how to say all the numbers almost not perfect but because um in german like one to ten is similar to english from my opinion like nine is neun and ten is zen Am I right? But from 11, 11 is elf and 12 is 12. And then it goes 13, 14, 15, 16, oh my god, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Oh my god, am I right? I need to study more. Yeah, those kinds of stuff. I have the uh, basics in my head. So it was more easier than I thought. I thought I forgot everything because I didn't actually study a lot. But the little little bits that I've been studying is certainly helping me right now. So I'm very happy about that. But I have a long way to go. <laughs> the there are, um, there's two co-workers that I'm working with and they're both German. Like they are both born in German but they their parents are Thai so they can speak German and Thai and they are they're not my age they're a bit older they can't speak English at all guys so when I'm communicating with the owners they're Korean so we can just speak Korean but my co-workers they can't speak English nor Korean they can't speak Korean so the only language we can communicate is German 
um, it's very difficult for me but I'm so grateful in another way and all of the people are saying it's the perfect environment for me, my German skills to grow because even if they were German people if they could speak English they would communicate with me in English, right? and the owners they're fluent in German because they have been living in German for over like 20 years so they're very fluent in German but when they're talking to me they talk we communicate in Korean so if there's no one that I'll communicate in German how is my German speaking gonna get better but my co-workers can only speak German so I can feel that my German speaking skills is gonna grow and I'm so grateful because I'm not even going to the language school now I want to go in the future when I have more time and money but it's such a good opportunity for me I'm working but I'm also learning German as well yeah and the customers are obviously all German people so I get to speak with in Germany with like maybe 100 people every day so I'm very grateful at the moment that I got this job I'm gonna try my best work hard yeah so that's that and I think almost the most important thing when it comes to working is who you're working with like your boss if the boss is a good person is a cool person, good person even if the work is a bit hard I'm happy to work but even if the work is not that hard but the boss is like so mean or not vibing with the workers I find it very hard to work at those places so for me the personality I don't know what the word is the person not the personality like do you know what I mean like yeah, I'll just say personality the boss's personality is and the like atmosphere of the workplace is something that's very important for me when it comes to working and I'm grateful in that way as well because the atmosphere of the store is very warm everyone is like hardworking no one is like very upset about their work it's a very refreshing atmosphere so that's a huge life update since I came here and um, trying to cook more for my food I actually made some pasta today it was really good I'm trying to be more productive so I'm planning to cook more and uh, I think for me right now uh, an exercise that makes me sweat a lot is something that I really need because <laughs> I never sweat like my heartbeat doesn't go up I think that kind of stuff is really important like running even in the treadmill I think running for 30 minutes even once a week I think I need to do because right now I'm just doing some stretching some yoga at home but like only 10 
15 minutes like there's 16 minute workouts for yoga on youtube but i don't even do the whole video i do it like i do 15 minutes the other day i'll continue do 15 minutes yeah i really need to work out and i think going to the gym to work out is like if you say you, you can just run anywhere like outside you can really run anywhere like the park or anywhere and i can just train at home watching some videos right but people like me who doesn't work out at the start if i think like that i'll never work out but if i just go somewhere and go to the gym pay my pay my money try some classes like group group exercise classes that way i work out more frequently that's what i did in korea so it really worked out for me even if i could just go one day two days a week it was really good like if i try to work out at home if i if i if i'm doing the workout like 10 minutes pass and i feel like oh, i don't want to do it i'll just stop I'm, i'll not do it but if i go somewhere and do it with some people or the environment is everyone's like working out and i'm in a gym i would work out more feeling more fun it'll be fun and i'll end up doing more like i'll do one hour workout so i'm since i live in is it uptown oh my god downtown <laughs> yeah there's there's a lot of things nearby i found like two gyms also in the location of a five minute walk from my house so i'm planning to go and sign up for a gym and at least go there once a week to sweat either run at a treadmill or go in to some group classes i think like the zumba would be fun dancing <laughs> i really really like yoga and i went to a yoga place for a long time in korea sometimes you can sweat doing a yoga session but a lot of times yoga is like a very peaceful exercise you don't really sweat but running an intimidating workout if you just run for five minutes you would immediately sweat so i'm looking for exercises like that and um, yoga is now part of my life i love yoga so no matter what i'll just do it i'll be doing yoga at home but that's not enough exercise for me and i want to try something new i think running <laughs> i think running is gonna be good you know it was great that a lot of you guys have left a comment in english i was so glad there that there were people speaking english that watched my video it's so surprising for me and i'm so happy i'm like yeah i'm trying to speak in english for the first time in my video but will there be even like one person who would watch this but there was like how many like more than five people commented at that video 
so special thanks to them and I really would filming videos speaking English I don't know how frequently I would because my most comfortable language is Korean so I don't know how often I would film a video speaking English but I definitely would a lot maybe one day I would film a video speaking in German <laughs> I'm you know I'm like a very talkative person I like to I like small talks big talks I like every talk I just like to um, chat with people, random people that I meet through the day and I also like talking about deep things with people tell me about your life, what's your story you have, like that kind of stuff I really like to talk so that that's why when I was in Australia I was so happy every day even working as a a front staff at a restaurant I would get to chat with customers I would get to see a lot of people and Australia is from what I know Australia is one of the countries that small chat a lot right they're very friendly if you go down the street and you see someone they'll just say hi like hi how's it going like that normally in korea no one does that like no one even if you meet someone in the elevator will not even say hi to each other that doesn't happen and i found i find out like germany is not a country that people small talk a lot but definitely more friendly you know like korean people are super friendly but in a different way i see people here when i see someone at the elevator will say hi to each other hello but not that talkative but like i don't know so what i want to say is when i get better with my German. My goal is to be able to chat with customers. Some customers, like regular customers, if they come every day, I'll, maybe I'll be able to get close with some of them and talk in German. I don't know. It, that's impossible for me right now, so in the future, I hope. Friends are very important to me. And since I'm here in a country that I don't know anyone, I feel really lonely. I need friends. I don't know how I'm gonna get to know friends. Like, I don't even need many. I just need one or two. <laughs> but it's super important to me. I need someone. Hopefully, I would find a friend that I could vibe with. Like, I found my job. It's almost like a miracle that happened to me because I, I didn't even know I could get hired at a mart. So, maybe another miracle will happen and I would find a friend that I would be happy to hang out with. Yeah! I think if I went to language school, it would be very easy to have friends, right? I'm definitely gonna go to language school once I have enough time and money but I don't know when that would happen right now I'm just gonna my goals are simple I'm gonna work at the mart 
try to cook as much as I can, eat healthy, and don't hate myself for eating a lot more than I expected. Like even today, I bought cupcakes. I bought like five of them, and it turned out the taste was like so like super 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 sweet. Like it was so sweet, I couldn't even. But at the same time, I love sweets, so I just ate a lot. Yeah, it wasn't good enough. But yeah, yeah. and my goals are not to hate myself from eating a lot. I'm definitely gonna make effort to not binge eat, not eat like huge portions, eat healthy, cook more. But in the process, I'm, I'm gonna try not to hate myself. There could be days that I'll eat super unhealthy, super large portions. But it's just a journey. If I'm getting better, that's all that matters. And I'm gonna sign up to a gym. Please, in the near future, do it, Angela. Do it. <laughs> you know, my English name is Angela. A-N-G-E-L-A. -E Since I was born, my English name was Angela. Because my parents uh, were a... Uh, uh, or Christian, yeah, Christian. So they went to the church and got my name. It was Angela. So I was Angela from where, when I was born. I don't know how to pronounce Angela in German. Is it like Angela? I don't know. I don't know. Should I just change my name to May while I'm in Germany? It's way more easier to pronounce May. But if I think if I want to use my name May in German, I would have to say M E I. I don't know. Oh yeah, I wanted to say that. Um, since I'm super lonely, I have no friends here, and there's the time difference is um, here. Germany and Korea, the time difference is difficult for me to communicate with my friends. Like, it's hard for me to call. I have to call neither in the morning time till like 3 p.m., 4 p.m. But that's when I work. And a lot of the days, I want to call at night times or dinner times, but it's like the middle of the night in Korea so it's hard to even call my mom so I really want to thank you guys watching this video leaving comments because I really needed someone to talk to it's really fun to experience many different cultures it's really interesting as a Korean that there, it's so, there's so different cultures compared to Korea. I've experienced Australia and German, Germany, and it's really interesting and exciting to experience new culture. In Korea, uh, before you get married, it's common to just live with, live with your parents even when you're over 20 like even when you're an adult it's very common to just keep on live with their parents and move out when you're getting married i always had a little bit of struggle living with my family i always wanted to live alone so from age like 24, 23, I moved out. I went by my own. And a lot of people in Korea just assume me I would be living with my family. But when I tell them, oh, I'm living alone, 
still ask automatically why <gasps> really why like that i think a lot of people nowadays move out but still it's not that common to move out like if your school is far away your work is far away there would be people moving out but like if there's no circumstance like that it will it would be awkward to just move out because Korean people think living with their parents is more smart because it's going to save you rent bills, food, you'll not have to care about food and the parents will not, some parents will not understand their kids moving out even, in, even if they're over 20. Yeah, I think that's the Korean culture. We live with our families, but in other countries, once you're like over 18, it's very normal to just move out once you're above 18, right? And I, I heard like some parents kick their children out once they're an adult, like of course you have to move out because you're an adult. I think that's very, I think that like, in my opinion, I think that's more healthy because if you're an adult, you have to have independence. You have to build the ability to live by your own. I think that's very important. Uh, knowing that some countries, it's like a very normal thing for everyone to just move out once they're an adult. That was really surprising and new, new to me. <laughs> and I think um, Australia and Germany is very different from each other as well. So that's interesting and exciting as well for me. Even in Korea, I would try to eat food all organic as possible, but it's not that easy. So I'll just buy organic food if I can, but in Korea, if it's not easy to find organic products unless you go to a organic grocery store if you just go to a convenience store you'll find zero organic products so it's very hard to just find organic products everywhere and i think in australia uh it was more easier to find organic products but still compared to germany wow Germany is, I think it's a heaven for vegans and organic products. Everywhere you go, you will find organic products. Like even for like crackers or non-fresh food, it's all organic. It's really nice for me because I know it's more healthy to eat organic because of the chemicals. I try to eat organic if I can. The weather nowadays is super nice. I wonder how cold it gets in the winter in Germany because Korea winter is super cold. Like, oh, it's so cold. There would be days that I couldn't even go outside even when I'm wearing like so many layers but, and Australia, like the weather's opposite, right? So Christmas times would be the hottest times of the year It's been a while that I've experienced winter and I heard it's not that cold compared to Korea but still and I'm excited to 
spend my Christmas in Europe. It will be the first time that I would be spending Christmas in Europe. I heard like the Christmas market is really famous in Germany. Oh my god, I have to do laundry. I'll just do it later. Tomorrow. Hope you guys all have a great day. And I want to say I hope you guys don't hate yourself no matter what because it's not gonna solve any problem and I think all of you guys deserve unconditional love no matter what yeah I'll be working that out as well loving myself unconditionally and I want to say I think every one of you deserves unconditional love from themselves. I would love you unconditionally. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching.